Robinson ISD, and welcome back to another Monday Minute. So stick with us. We have a whole bunch of things oh, to congratulate yes. right here at the beginning. So congrats to Ross Caraway and Catherine Midget, who received an Amazon gift card for participating in our Twitter slow chat at RR Learners. So, um, and congrats also to the seven people that participated in our fun first day of spring question yes, last yes, week. Yes. They all received a jeans pass. So watch for another slow chat question on our, our learners soon. All right. And thank you to Mary Hockaday, Molly Cross, Lisa Hull, uh, Rachel Rudloff, Catherine Elliott, Lynn Vetter, Mary Shrunk, who took time out of their day to share the great things that they are doing in their classroom with Baylor students. Uh, in Dr. Sandy Cooper's class, so who recently held their Baylor class at the Intermediate Campus. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it was a fun day. And thank you to all that continue to share out the positive things happening in your classroom, on your campus, and in RISD with the hashtag Robinson ISD. Um, watch for some swag yes. uh, coming soon that we're going to start using to thank you for sharing out. All right, and hey, don't forget to check out the Rocket Rundown that you'll see uh, you know, for the links and then the continuous learning that's on the campus and the PLC rooms too as well. So you'll be seeing that. And comp day information um, is coming your way here, linked up at the top with a graphic to help you. Um, all things are in Edgeforia for you to sign up as approved options. Um, I know that you've worked with curriculum team if you're doing planning days. We also have a book study streaming session oh coming gosh, up um, this week on 321 at 415. Um, and you can see the book study options. They're already listed in Edgeforia, um, but you can hear a little bit about from people in the district that have read those books. Um, what they kind of entail. We've done those in person the last few years, but we're going to do it in a stream session this year. Um, and then you can listen to it later. Right. Um, also make sure you have June 6th as the summit marked yes. um, and uh, sessions will be coming soon, but you could go ahead and register for that. Go ahead and register. Conferences yes, in Edge of Warrior. It's be super sweet. Super sweet. Super That's sweet. right. Living the sweet life. That's right. Because learning together learning is sweet. Is sweet. Yeah. That's right. Learning together is sweet. So make sure you discuss your summer comp day sessions with yeah. your appraiser um, and then go ahead and start registering for those in Edgeforia as soon as possible. And congratulations to the 23 current staff members and two retired staff members that were selected by the top 25 graduating seniors to be honored at the Celebration of Stars this year. Uh, including Willie. Uh, yes. That, yeah. That, that caught me by surprise. I'm like, wow. That's pretty cool. It's really, it is a really great honor. And just remind you that the high five grants are due on 313, uh, 318. 318. Sorry, right. 318. Man, she almost cut y'all short. I know, I know. And so John Eckhart, Eckhart, so we've been doing his quotes. So one of his quotes that we're talking about now is sometimes small gestures matter the most. You know that. And then um, some congratulations to our students. Congrats to Emma Turner. She's headed to state powerlifting um, at the end of uh, last week. And so we're super excited about her going there. And then also congratulations to the new officers for Spanish Honor Society for 2024-2025 school years. That's Brenda Shelton is the president. Lydia Adams is the vice president. Trish Hume is the secretary. And McKenna McCorn is the treasurer. That's right. And you can tell them um, congratulations whenever you see them. If you see them out in the district or on campus um, in Spanish, if you'd like. <laughs> I'm sure Senor, Senor Cher would appreciate that in Spanish. Um, also, congrats to the Wind Ensemble and our band leaders um, who earned straight ones at UIL contest and sight reading on February 29th. Mm -hmm. And so the Robinson Volleyball Camp, it is open for registration as well as the Summer Ace Programs. And for summer school, too, as well, for all grade levels. So go ahead and spread the word and go ahead and get people signed up. And congrats to all our track on accomplishment so far at all our meets this year. There's been lots of great work for athletes. Yes. Uh, if you haven't checked those out, um, uh, I know Chris Van Cleve and some others have been sharing out uh, student results on Twitter. I've seen a lot of the graphics. Mm -hmm. And so go check those out. A lot of our students are doing really well. And congratulations to our boys and girls soccer who have made spots in playoffs this year. Congratulations, guys. Yeah. And RHS cheer tryout clinics are happening this week, 318 to 320. All right. And then also on 318 is the RSD board meeting, the interactive display training, which anyone with display, you can definitely come on out and learn. It's our last one for the year. 
Uh, high school has their one act play public performance. It's going to be at 630 at the RJH Cafetorium. All right. And on the 19th, we actually have our celebration of stars pitchers. Junior high new cheer parent meeting at RJH at 6 p.m. And the ACE parent family engagement poetry night at Rocky Cafe. And then on the 20th, we have SAT at the high school and the RSD job fair. And on the 21st, we have our summer book study session. And we also have the Talk More Tech Less for all parents in RISD. And that's going to be at 5.30 p.m. at RIS. And there'll be door prizes and child care available. And on the 22nd, we have RHS Cheer Tryouts. Lots of tryouts happening. Are you going to be doing that? I'm going to, I'm going to stretch. How's your herky? My herky? Yeah. Or what? your toe touch? The more turkey. My toe touch? <laughs> turkey. Like herky. Turkey. Turkey. That's pretty good. And then we have golf, tennis, track, softball, baseball, winter guard championship contest going on too as well. All those spring activities. Um, and you also have teacher and staff of the year nominations that are due on Friday, March 18th. Um, the people that are nominated will receive that information and words of encouragement from the nomination, and um, it will be in voting that will occur the end of March and 1st of April for Teacher and Staff of the Year. That's cool. And so we have some upcoming things coming up. Uh, we have the ATP Gene Week, which is March 25th through 29th. And also make sure you have marked and planned for March 28th. That is our next district-wide house celebration. So bring the fun. That's right. Well, that's all we have for this week, which was a whole lot. So thank you for sticking with us. It's longer than normal, but we wanted to make sure that we shared all those celebrations There's and so wonderful much. things yeah. that are happening in our district. So we're so thankful for you. Uh, thankful that you have uh, helped create all of those wonderful things to share. And we hope that you have a great week.